Jeremy Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. All right. Um, oh, good. Let me do a really quick intro first. I'm Chroma. This is Retro and Gaming. Thanks for joining so much. <laughs> Staying up this late. <laughs> I don't know. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's uh, it's four in the morning for me and Jen. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, it's D Gen hours. I'm used to this. But um, yeah, thank you everyone for staying up as well. Uh, We're going to do the Pokemon trading card game. This is the glitchless percent, so we don't do any cheating. Because <laughs> there is a oh. nasty cheat in this game that just lets you win battles. Like, automatically. <laughs> and we don't use that, so. You are going to see the whole game, start to finish. Um, RNG is going to dictate a lot of this run, so uh, if we can get some... Some blessings from chat for good RNG, that would be really nice, because I have no idea how good it's going to go. But we will see. <laughs> um, yeah, and Rig's just going to be here. If you have any questions, Rig, or if you have like any comments you just want to make on like the game, feel free to. Don't feel like you're intruding. I really don't have a ton to say. <laughs> okay, awesome, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll keep an eye on chat. Chat has any questions, I'll read it out to you. Cool, sounds good. All right, so uh, we're good on the timer, Jen? 100% ready. All right, so three, two, one, go. Woo! All right, <laughs> so first things first, we are going to take our main deck here. And we're going to edit it very slightly. We're going to trick this guy here. Um, essentially, there's a threshold where this guy is like, he looks at the cards that are not in your deck. And he's like, oh, you don't have enough energy cards. And he like gives you some poverty ones. Uh, and we use that to trick him. And we do it twice because he's very gullible. <laughs> so I just put all of my energy cards into decks. And he thinks that I don't have any left. So he just gives me more of them, which is very nice. But we do need those for the uh, run. All right. There's Ronald. There's Ronald. <laughs> That's our rival. We're going to see him a few times. We are going to lose intentionally to him uh, two times, and then we're going to get our revenge at the very end. Okay, so we're doing our first big deck edit here. When you start, we have this deck called Bulbasaur and Friends because they just stuff a bunch of random cards in it and they pretend it has a theme, but... It's a little scattered, <laughs> so I'm going to make a deck that actually can plow through really quick here. Wait, is this a card game? This is uh, surprisingly a card game. It's mostly a menu game. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are going to we are gonna duel after uh, we do all this. Awesome. Now, before each battle, we are going to save. We're going to do a safety save because a lot of times... Uh, RNG goes bad, and then you don't want to stay in that fight, you want to like leave the fight as quick as possible and restart the game and try and give yourself some better luck. Alright, so we're on a good start. This so is basically, on, uh, the first gen? This is only first gen Pokemon. There are actually no second gen. This is uh, not a good Pokemon to show up, so we don't have to restart that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little unfortunate, but um, this we deal with the uh, the crappy fights at the beginning, and then hopefully save some time later. So yeah, uh, there are typings in this game, just like regular Pokemon, but uh, there are some like specific rules that are different in the card game. So uh, it is a different game to learn, even if you've played Pokemon in the past, but. Uh, I don't know. You can have, like, never played Pokemon before, and this will teach you, like, just the card game pretty well. So, I quite like it. She just played that card again. Yeah. <sighs> I might have to restart it. <laughs> oh, not again! Yeah, it's not a good, uh... It's not optimal, unfortunately. So... Essentially, the reason that happens is uh, that Pokemon has what's called a resistance. It's the only Pokemon she owns that has it. Uh, but when she plays it, uh, any move that I do is reduced by 30 damage. And my strongest move is 40. 
So essentially you only do 10 damage at a time to it and it has 70 HP. So you waste seven turns. How many of these is she gonna play, dude? <laughs> Dang. This is not a good RNG start, unfortunately. But yeah. This is uh this is what happens sometimes. <laughs> this is okay, Pokemon you get all TCG. Your bad luck now, so toward the end. It'll yes. all come back. It'll it'll be worth yes. it. I always tell myself that, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and it's well. always, always worked, right? It's, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me take a quick peek at her bench. So she doesn't have one yet, in this battle, but... Mm, I don't know, we got a few turns we have to go through still. Mm -hmm. Okay, she hasn't played one yet. Alright. So... Um... The one thing is, you're gonna notice, like, the game moves really quick when you're speedrunning. So, you kinda, like, develop this, uh... Develop this skill for, like, flash reading, where you just, like, really quickly notice something. It's like, oh, I, I, I saw, like, the word Professor Oak. And I know she played that card. So, you have to, like, really flash read, um, super quickly. Alright, so we're finally through that. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda, for wasting my time. <laughs> One over. Good. <laughs> Alright, now we're on to uh, annoying fight number two. It's Michael. And uh, Michael doesn't have any, like, super annoying cards, but he does start with... Um, some pretty like hefty dudes, so they take more than one or two kill, uh, one or two turns to kill. So I'm hoping that they don't uh, give me any nasty trouble, but in general we should be pretty okay. No, I think you got this one. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> We're looking pretty I've good. I've seen this game ever. <laughs> it's all every time it's been with uh with with this type of uh event. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cuz you know I love yeah. card games. <laughs> and Pokémon. <laughs> Pokémon, yeah. 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 We we made the joke on Junkyard Dave's stream because Dave was going off about how much he loves Pokémon. And he, I was like, I'm so glad I uh I like, didn't even ask you to do this. <laughs> it was just a joke, but like, I was like, oh, you know what, like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ignore Dave and I'm just gonna ask Rick who knows nothing about either of these two things. <laughs> yeah, ignoring Dave is the way to go. I think Twitch has been doing that here lately. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> is that, a uh, is that too, is that too fresh for this, uh, Maybe, this maybe. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. He's asleep. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it okay. <laughs> that makes it okay. He can't hear us. Sorry, Dave. <clears throat> Poor Dave. He'll get it in April, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so, um, we are one punch away from winning this fight if he doesn't do anything really goofy. Which, I'm gonna be honest, he Michael's absolutely thinking. can't do. <laughs> are you are you picking up flash reading as well already? Uh yes. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> All right. So a big RNG. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a big uh, RNG factor in this is the booster packs that you receive. So after each fight, you receive a booster pack. Actually, you receive two booster packs, um, each filled with ten cards. So, uh, with luck, you get good cards, and you can um, improve your deck as you go and make the, you know, the fights easier. Uh, and with crap luck, you get no cards, and then you, like, really panic at the end, and you have to make up weird, uh, you know, fake decks or whatever. That was probably the worst thing she could have done, so thank you for that. <laughs> this is why you save before every fight, because if something like that happens, you just reset, go back in. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it's almost like a free replay button. Alright, so that's better. You can punch this thing to death in one turn. You're weak. <laughs> now, this is the first time we're gonna see status ailments, and she got, she got it. So usually you, like, flip a coin, if you get heads, you incur some kind of, uh, really annoying 
Oh, status um, effects. Yeah, oh status effect, God. right? <laughs> it's terrible. So paralysis sucks. You basically just waste your turn. Um, there are some cards that can like counter it, but if you don't have the card in your hand, obviously you're not going to use it. So. All right, so now we have enough energy to power our second move, Special Punch, so we can actually take out a lot of these guys in one hit. All right, perfect. So a big thing with this game is you need to be able to power your, your guys. You can have really strong guys on the field, but if you don't give them energy, they are useless. They are literally paperweights. So... He played some good cards, but, or she played some good cards, I'm very sorry, but um, she didn't have any energy for them, so they just sat there and waited for me to punch them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we just pulled a Dug Trio, we're gonna need as many of those as we can for the end game. So, that's a good pull. I love the Dug Trio. Yeah, they're really funny. They're just basically three sausages coming out of the ground. Right. <laughs> I love all the lore people trying to figure out what's underneath there. <laughs> There's been some, like, cursed talk about what could be under. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I try not to think about it. <laughs> they're all good. <laughs> yeah, they're all good. <laughs> Alright, so that's a really good uh, Jessica fight after some two or three not great fights. There we go. I, so I there's these, uh, card designs too. They're, they never get old. They yeah yeah. So there's a couple good YouTube videos if anyone's really curious. If you're enjoying the artwork, um, they had to do a lot of trickery to translate like what essentially were 3D cards um, and like you know a lot of 3D artwork styles into you know an 8-bit pixel game that runs on Game Boy. You know with like almost no RAM. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, they did some really, like, interesting effects, they, uh, they had a really, you know, they had a really, like, interesting way of, um, creating dithering effects with, uh, the patterns as well to, you know, not only showcase, like, you know, a backdrop or, I'm gonna reset this because I don't want to see that flying Pikachu, <laughs> um, I was yeah. enjoying the picture! I'm sorry! <laughs> Can we go back flying to the flying P Pikachu, actually? I mean, we could, but oh Yay! my god! <laughs> there we go. This is the. All right, I'm gonna let you look at it for a quick sec because this, that is literally the one card I can't fight. <laughs> so <laughs> we we go back to the we go back to the thing where it has a resistance. So it's not as like it has less HP than the Scyther we were looking at earlier, but um... surfing Pikachu. Surfing Pikachu is totally fine. It's cool and it takes double damage from us, so I'm totally cool with Surfing Pikachu. You can also see, uh, I think I think that's Mount Fuji in the background that he's surfing against. Is that what that is? I, I think it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh huh. She just played another one. I'm gonna lose my mind on this oh, Flying Pikachu. Oh no! Flying Pikachu's back. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play this one out because I have something called a plus power, which adds ten damage. So it's gonna reduce the kill from four turns to to three, but it still sucks. Yeah. There's also the fact that she has no energy for this thing, so again, it's a paperweight. It's not attacking. All right, she played some more stuff, but she really doesn't have any uh anything to fight with. So, all right. Sorry, flying Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, this is a special Pikachu card. Uh, they actually gave this card out uh, to people who watched, I believe it was the second Pokemon movie. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I dragged my dad to that one. He was obviously probably not interested. I believe he fell ask, asleep at the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the first two movies in the theater, because- oops, oh my goodness, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, I, uh... Yeah, I dragged him there, I watched the first two movies, and they gave out, like, promo cards and stuff, so... I remember getting those two cards, but, uh... After that, I just kind of stopped. <laughs> I had my Pokémon phase, and then... You know, I didn't really follow it after, I just... I reminisce on the old days, <laughs> like these games. <laughs> Alright, 
So we got Brandon now. Um, Brandon is the same idea. We don't want to see his one flying Pokemon, which is Zapdos. We don't want to see that thing at all. Okay, no Zapdos, no Zapdos. No Zapdos, yeah. So far we're looking okay. Um, everything else takes double damage. Zapdos absorbs 30 damage. So it, yeah. it literally makes it painful to kill him. <laughs> Alright, we are good. That Pikachu so you can always... is great. It's pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Perfect. Hey, so that's a good congrats. Brandon. <laughs> Thank you. Good Brandon. Good Brandon. Ooh, we got an Electabuzz. That is one card we will need to use. So that is good that we got one. Okay, now we got Nicholas. With his spiky hair. Definitely a brat. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, so one thing to uh, keep notice on, if you want to look at quick fights, this is going to be a really quick Nicholas fight. If you look at the top left corner, there's a little like beast-like symbol with a zero next to it in the top left corner. Mm -hmm. uh, that tells you how many Pokemon are waiting on his bench to replace the guy in the front when I kill him. When it says zero and you knock out the guy in the front, uh, basically you have nothing left to play, so you lose. So. Done. He's done, yeah. So we want to see that zero, it's usually a, a faster kill, it's good. Nice. But, that was very you fast. Know, yeah, you can, you can plow through enemies like that really quick if they don't have anything on their bench. Alright, yeah, now imagine we got Yeah, Eevee is so cute. Oh, is, is there uh, some Eevee fandom? I really like Eevee. <laughs> Love Eevee. Okay, so he did play something. He played two cards there. You can see it went from zero to two. So you know he's got um, he's got two guys waiting Tauros. on the bench. Tauros is pretty cool. It's actually a pretty strong card, but it takes uh, two or three turns to power it. So a lot of the times before you even get to power it, it's just knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> so the trick for cards like that is to leave them on your bench away from the battle and to power them there so that when you bring them out, they're ready to go. Nice, okay. Yeah. Alright, so he's got one guy left. Hopefully he doesn't put any more on. Yeah, we're at zero right now. Yeah. So we're gonna take two turns to kill this. It has a lot of HP. You can tell by the uh, the little damage counters. He just revived his Tauros, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, it's a one. <laughs> It's, it's alright. He shouldn't have any energy on it, so it should be pretty weak. Oh god, he's actually got one there. Oh, that was really scary. Ooh. <laughs> if he flipped heads there, I actually would have lost, so that actually worked out just barely for us. <laughs> and we win! Yeah, we got it. Oh. Alright, I guess I can talk about the booster packs. There are four types. There's Colosseum, which gives out, uh, like, some really good utility cards, and, um, some of the, um, you know, like, basic cards, like the ones we've been using. That one's good. Evolution gives evolved Pokémon, obviously. Um, not really useful in our run, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't use a lot of evolved guys, and the ones we do use show up in other boosters. Then there's Mystery, which has the, like, rarer cards, and, uh, we do want those as well, generally, but, uh, yeah, that one, the Evolution Pack and the, um, the Evolution Pack and the Laboratory Pack, which contains, like, um, like, non- uh, genetic Pokemon, like, you know, like, fake Pokemon, almost, like, man-made Pokemon. Um, fake Pokemon? Yeah. There's, um, there's a couple that are, like, man-made or, like, um, you know, basically not genetic or, you know, like, there's stuff like Magnemite, which is literally just a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so stuff like that will appear in that pack, and we really have no use for that pack either, for the most part. Okay. So... Yeah. Psyduck. Psyduck, yeah, this is a good card. It's not a good card to fight with, but it's a good card to look at. Yes. <laughs> He's always having a bad day. Every time I see Yeah. Him. Yeah, being Psyduck is basically suffering. <laughs> Worst day of his Constant life. Constant headache. Yeah. 
All right, so that is the shortest fight in the game with Sarah. It only requires two kills versus the regular four. We got another Doug trio. That's that nice. That pool's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, they got a good job. All they have to do is like go to the pool every day and chill out. Um, right. And then, yeah, and then just like play card games when people show up. <laughs> That's basically all they have to do. <laughs> Yeah, I think if it's I was the life. Pokemon world, I would be like, can I get in the uh, water gym? <laughs> yeah, what do I have to do to uh, not be in the other gyms and just be in this one instead? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so he's got two Lapras, which are technically like the strongest dudes. Um, these Lapras matchups really depend. So if you don't flip heads here, I had those two plus power, so I'm going to add 20 damage and make it through this. But usually if you flip tails, you don't get enough damage to one hit him. Win! If you... Yeah, we got him. <laughs> Alright, there's the mystery packs that we want. I'm mystery looking for Articuno. Pack. We got one! <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's good luck. Alright, I'm going to save. Yeah. That little sprite you saw of Amy standing up and getting out of her uh, her pool bench. Once you uh, once you duel her, or once you say no to her initial duel, uh, that sprite never reappears because she goes back on her bench and never gets up again. <laughs> Fun little tidbit. <laughs> that goldine's kind of hot. I don't know. <laughs> Rick, it's a goldfish. <laughs> It's a it's a fish. <laughs> uh, Darth, I, I got a noise. <laughs> I got a noise. Chat comfortable with this right now. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This, this is this is why this is why your commentary is valuable because I can I can never come up with something like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, no, no. It's, it's great. It's the last one I'm on. <laughs> oh, Andrew, God. you're gonna come out the next year. Yeah. Bring on. Holy oh. cow, is Amy over? Amy is That was done. such a fast one. Wow. Alright, that's our first medal. We got a master medal. <laughs> we do need to collect eight of them. I hear myself getting pinged, and I'm a little scared of what people are saying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Focus on the game! Chroma I'm not even looking, I just hear the FFZ pinging going off. Oh yeah, people are joining the chat saying hi. You got Darth Philandra here, Darth Elwood, Najin Neko, Sayaka. Wow, welcome everyone. Thanks for staying up this late Cheering or getting up this on. early. I know. <laughs> Alright, we are on Joseph. Alright, so we, I've, we've essentially built this path, um, you know, like the person I studied off of, they've essentially built this path to um, make as few deck edits as possible, because deck edits are one of the slowest things that aren't RNG dependent. So, you know, you waste a lot of time going to the deck and like editing out cards and stuff. We try and avoid as much of that as possible. Flying Pikachu! Yay! Except this time, our Pikachu typing... <laughs> Our typing's okay, so we can actually uh, fight it and not be uh, distressed by looking at it. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I killed him really fast. Pokemon teaches typing. Yes. Yeah. It's, there's like a whole Wikipedia on Pokemon statistics and stuff. If you ever get too deep into that stuff, it's a little scary. Just ask Junkyard Dave. He's like really into that. <laughs> He's into a lot of things. <laughs> yes. uh, I don't want to ask him about, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> never know. These last few battles have been pretty good. Here. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. All right, here's no one of the booster packs we don't need. Feet. Oh no! Oh, no, no, we we don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, okay, we've got a decent hand here. I'm gonna make my first major deck edit. Alright, so we're switching types. We're switching Pokemon types. I'm gonna see if I have some better trainer cards. Trainer cards are essentially um, like your your buffs and debuffs that you can pass to the uh, opponent. Mm -hmm. So 
we try and use those to give us a little bit of an edge. We are gonna fight Rick, the science master. Oh, hello, Rick. Hello, Rick. <laughs> He's a little annoying because his guys have um, paralysis moves and stuff and... Oh, status effects. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the Grimer looks cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah. There's a... I, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, miraculously we hit the, the incentive. Because um, we had snuck in an incentive to uh, look at the trading card game 2. And it's like ridiculous cards that are really cursed and funny at the same time. Oh, no. Nice. Because, uh, yeah, there's a Grimer that, like... And these are all based off cards. They didn't, like, make these weird because they felt like it. Like, these were literal cards that were in the real world. Well, someone else made it weird. They just did it. Someone else made it. Yeah, exactly. And they, like, translated it as best they could in 8-bit graphics. <laughs> and uh, a lot of them just come out really cursed and funny. Um, so, I don't know if the incentive's still open, but if you want to see, like, a bunch of funny Pokemon cards, <laughs> yeah. uh, that is still open. But, uh... Yeah, if it's not, then, you know, there's always some other time to look at them. Yeah. 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 Alright, so I just got status, so unfortunately I'm stuck for this turn. Oh, crap. I just have to keep praying that he doesn't keep statusing me. Alright. By the way, this game has, like, amazing music. Um, if you listen to a lot of Game Boy music, there's limitations on the, on the cartridges. Um, so they would really just, um... They would really just like play, you know, like 20, 30 second loop songs over and over. Um, and then they would like extend that to, you know, like three minutes or whatever and make that a song. But this game has like two to three minutes songs that do not loop. Um, they're all like really unique, so. Yeah, I thought it was always really awesome. Yeah, I thought right. Bellwood's liking it. Yeah, it's, it's really good stuff. Okay, so he's powering a lot of guys. A lot of scary guys are coming out, but Kadabra just um, mops the floor with them <laughs> before they even get a chance. All right, so Rick is done. There we go. Nice. Not bad, Rick. We didn't have to reset. Sometimes you do. So we are solid there. Science also means like weird skull metal. <laughs> <laughs> Because science. Because science, yeah. I mean, skulls are science, right? Technically. <laughs> it's Ronald. Okay. Alright, so Ronald. again, tur- <laughs> Fights one and two, we're trying to lose to Ronald as quick as possible. There's uh, no benefit to beating him. I mean, he gives you a, a rare card, but we cannot even use that card in the run, so... There's literally no reason to fight him. Ooh. That was a really good Ronald. <laughs> Sometimes when you fight Ronald, he just shows up and he sticks like this heavy tank Pokemon that doesn't attack. And he sits oh. there for like 20 turns. <laughs> Run killer. And, yeah, it's it's horrible. I'm really sorry guys, I keep clicking off of the thing, trying to look at my splits. <laughs> I need to uh, actually be able to see where we're going next. Okay. <laughs> It's his first There's time, so many guys. trainers. Give him a break. Give him a break. Yeah, I've I've, I've never played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So let's go here. We're gonna make a fire deck for the next uh, trainers because it's a grass gym. Good. Good. All right. So stack the deck against them. There we go. What's up with the floor we got tile, Brittany. Though? Do you like the floor tile? I'd like a bunch of E's stretched out. I don't know. <laughs> There's uh, actually a couple floor tiles in the game that are um, drawn incorrectly. And I, again, I wish I could show you them, but... I'm trying to put the time into actually winning the game. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we are powered for Ponyta. We're going to start roasting everything. Okay. So Charmander is a little annoying because it doesn't take double damage like everything else does. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start giving my second Ponyta energy because this Charmander might kill me. Okay, he's not going for it. 
But yeah, that's the key. Like, you have a second guy ready in the back, so that when your first guy gets taken out, you're not bringing out some, like, deadbeat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this will kill my first Ponyta. It's fine, I've got another one. Okay, bye. Bye. Get ready to see your exact clone come out. <laughs> it's the same Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, so what does she have on her bench? Ugh, gosh. Not... Not the best, but... <clears throat> I'm trying to bring out her stuff I can kill in one turn. Alright. So she's calling for family, which uh, instead of attacking, actually uh, brings one more Nidoran into her hand, which in like a bigger fight would make sense, but uh, when she's one death from uh, from losing, it's kind of a wasted turn. So I'll, I'll take it if she wants to waste her turns. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that D1 that you see on the... Uh, uh, beside the portrait, that's the defender card. Unfortunately, by her playing that, um, it's gonna reduce my attack by 20 this turn. So I'm not gonna be able to kill this thing in this turn. We need one more turn. So how smart is the AI on this game, would you, would you say? That is a really, really good question. Um, so there's actually set AI in this game. Um, there's different types of trainers. There's basic trainers like Brittany that we're fighting right now. Um, that are four knockouts to win. Um, the AI for these characters are pretty simple. They're just like, fill the bench, try not to get killed, um, use like the most annoying attacks, <laughs> try and get status effects, basic stuff like that. Um, there are leaders, like the club leaders, where you get the medals off of and you have to knock out six Pokemon. Um, their AI is more annoying. They try and build up evolutions, they try and, um, you know, plan ahead of time and stuff like that, so they've got some nastier AI. Uh, and then there's the... There's the final four or five trainers, if you include Ronald, at the end. Um, they are the... the Grand Masters, and they have, like, really, really nasty AI, where they'll actually, like, hold back Pokémon and play them on, like, turn two to gain wow. every benefit from them. Yeah. That was a really good Kristen fight. <laughs> hey, well done, well done, right on. Thank you. All right, so we fought everyone in the grass gym. Uh, I rushed through the text, but she basically tells you where Nikki's hiding. She's over at Ishihara's house. In the house? In the house. <laughs> we gotta send her back to her club. She won't fight us here. <laughs> it's kind of fun how they make you walk around, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, uh... I don't know, you get to appreciate, like, the overworld and stuff. Yeah. It's not just and cars, every club. You get extra stuff. Exactly, exactly. And every club has, like, its own theme, so... You know, we were in a pool earlier, and now we're in literally, like... You know, like a... a greenhouse. <laughs> Alright, so, um... This is a, a leader fight, you can tell, because the music's different. Normal battles have one music, um, theme, and then... Uh, club leaders have another theme, and then there's one more um, battle theme when you fight the Grandmasters at the end, which I think is the best song in the game. <laughs> yeah. I think I need to check out the music after the stream. I keep forgetting Yeah. That. Yeah, they're, they're great. You know, yeah, we can- I, I uh, love the we Game can... Boy music. It's so much better than the Game Gear music. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. I absolutely agree. All right, so we're actually plowing through pretty good. Uh, okay, so she just played Execute, which is a, a, a weird Pokemon. It's five eggs with a face. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> um, so in its basic current form, not a problem. What I don't want to see is it evolving, because it turns into a, a goofy tree. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the tree. Yeah. Hey, come wow, on, these things. Ah, get wrecked. <laughs> Go back yeah, to your I, house. You can stay in your greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Perfect. Uh, Matchin's asking, what are you playing this one on? Uh, so I am playing this on, uh, I'm currently on my Mac playing this on Open Emulator. Um, I usually play this on Steam Deck through RetroArch though, because it, it let me do the retro achievements for them and stuff. Ah. Yeah, so that was how I usually play it, but, um, just for like capture and stuff, this was easier. Um, this was better for audio stuff and... Oh yeah, capturing handheld is a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was tricky too because the audio wouldn't really come through from the capture card. There was just like a misbalance there and it wasn't picking up, so... I was like, well, I'll just run it straight from the emulator on the computer and it'll be happy. And it has been, so... <laughs> I cannot complain. Alright, so we've swapped back. Retro Archie Sland Gaming from General Andrews. <laughs> Retro- oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we've got Isaac. <laughs> this is the Lightning Club. All right, so ultimately what I'd love to see is I would love to see uh, Doug Trio. I would love to draw that card because once you draw Doug Trio, uh, the fight's basically over. <laughs> Speaking of but, lightning, what was that uh, shocking joke Jen dropped earlier? Oh, oh my everybody. gosh. Yeah, I, oh my I'm afraid gosh. I've erased it from my memory. Oh, oh I haven't <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> I have accidentally forgotten. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he was so proud of himself, too. <laughs> Okay, so there is one, I mean, generally AI is pretty good in this game um, at being stubborn. There is one weird thing about this fight, that Electrode that we just fought, this one here, um, it has a move called Sonic Boom, uh, and it is the one attack he can use that ignores resistance. That's how I'm surviving with this 30 HP puny Diglett because none of his guys can actually break through that resistance, so they're not even attacking. Um, but Sonic Boom is the one move that can. It can actually one-hit Diglett without resistance. Um, but I don't know, the AI just doesn't seem to know that card. Um, so it, it keeps ignoring the fight, and it doesn't actually try and fight with uh, with that move, which is really interesting. I don't know why they don't do it. Hmm. I think they forgot to program it. They're just like, eh, it's lightning, just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm lucky because it's not going to fight me, but... Yeah, that works. Yeah, I... I always get scared when that electrode comes out because I'm like, what if this is the one time the AI smartens up and, <laughs> and kills me? <laughs> the one time. Yeah. Before, guys! <laughs> Alright, not bad. Not bad. Nice. Do you have a... Do you have an eye on the uh, on-stream timer by chance, Rig? Uh, let me have a look here. It says 36 minutes and 25 seconds. There's no way. I'm like way ahead of pace with a terrible start. Okay, I don't want to jinx it, but that's like insanely good. I don't know how. All right, all right. We're on our way to a uh, world record. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're already like three quarters. To the, to the world record time, and we have a lot to go still. <laughs> no. It's some wishful drinking, but I... I... <laughs> I'm afraid we... I'm not at the, uh, the level. So, the, the big difference I will mention, the big difference is, um... The, the world record runs, they have, um, basically, like, um, some kind of... RNG manipulation that they can do. There's a really specific timing that you can start battles with, and uh, when you do that, it uh, I believe it like gives you favorable, um, like you know benches and Pokemon plays and stuff like that. Whatever it is to give you faster kills. Um, but I don't know how to do that because <laughs> there's not documented very well. <laughs> um, uh. So I just play, you know, using my fast read. <laughs> skill as best I can and praying for RNG, which is uh, the best way to play speedruns if you ask any speedrunner. 
it's actually not. Please don't do this. If you can learn to not deal with RNG, like do not play with RNG. <laughs> it is such a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know. The other the other ways are kind of hard too. They they are yeah. But I mean, like you learn that skill once, and then when you can like get consistent at that one skill, you can basically delete the RNG, which you have zero control over. And if I knew how to do it, or there's like documentation on it, I would do it. How many times is this guy gonna flip heads and paralyze me? <laughs> how many turns is he gonna do it? Because we'll find this out. This is the only way he's staying alive. Okay, finally. <laughs> Thank God. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I had a really, really nasty practice run. Um, maybe like four streams ago or so, I want to say. Um, where... I I think I literally started um, maybe like 14 fights in a row going second by flipping tails every single time. Like, oh my yeah, God. like IRL try and flip tails on a coin 14 times in a row without flipping heads once. It's right. <laughs> yeah, it's absurd, but it happened, and I was uh. I was trying not to seethe <laughs> quietly in my room. Uh, okay. Hey, congrats so gonna... on the new medal. <laughs> Thank you. We got Ronald again. Ronald. Right. We're trying to lose again, so I'm gonna send out my Diglett and pray he has something to kill me with. Tauros is not bad. He's not even powering the Tauros, so... Thank you for wasting time. Alright, he's starting to power it. People are Ronald also has his own music. McDonald. Uh, I wish. That would be really funny. <laughs> um, he is a bit of a clown when he wastes my time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give him that. <laughs> Does it come with clown music at least? <laughs> Not as good as the, the, the Robo Robotech music. <laughs> Imagine a speedrun of that. Oh, that's. I want that over as quick as possible. <laughs> Alright, we got the fire leader, Ken. Look at the fire behind him. He's got that, he's got that burning passion for children's training cards. <laughs> Alright, ugh. Oh. Oh, I hate lullaby. So, sleep is weird. You flip a coin, if you flip heads, you wake up. Nothing happened. If you flip tails, you stay asleep and you can't do anything until you uh, wake up. <laughs> Dang. It's great. <laughs> I definitely don't keep flipping heads a lot and staying asleep the entire fight. <laughs> Can you tell I've had bad RNG with this game before? <laughs> well, I, I'm just laughing at the uh, the buttons pressing and just going mad. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. That's gonna be bleeding through my mic, but I'm literally like mashing to just try and get all this I, dialogue I can, out of the I can way. Hear the frustration. <laughs> All right, so Scrunch is annoying because he flipped heads. I can't attack him this Scrunch. turn for damage. Yeah, he d literally turns into a ball, and he wastes my time. <laughs> so please don't flip heads. Thank you. Woo! That was quite nice of him to do that. Yeah. So once you get Dug Tree on Earthquake, you can see how much damage you do. You just do 140 damage and you know pile drive enemies. Nice. All right, so Shiggly Pops down too. All right, Ken's this down as well. Way. Wow. Can I get another quick time check by chance? We're six medals in. Uh, yes, we have forty-one minutes and fifty seconds. About. Holy cow, that's pretty good. All right, well, let's hope we can keep this momentum going. Yeah. All right, so we're going to Gene. I know I drew an Articuno earlier. So, this is a, a good pivot point. If you don't draw any Articuno, you have to build a, a different deck here. But we can build an Articuno deck, and we can actually skip one deck at it. Okay, okay. So it saves us a little time there, too. Oops, not grass. What am I doing? Water. <gasps> it's a water bird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. And uh, water isn't like particularly effective against uh, the rock types that that Gene uses, but um, because it's a flying type, all of his uh, rock guys actually can't do damage to 
Like, there's a resistance, so it takes a lot more uh, damage to actually hit Articuno. So it, it's basically a big meat shield that can hit for, like, massive power. Perfect. Yeah. Just like He's General basically... Andrews. Uh, that, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we never have to use Jen as a meat shield. <clears throat> yeah. Please, uh... Don't be in that situation. He is, uh, he's delaying my attacks quite a few turns, and it's, uh, getting a little annoying, but hopefully he stops now. Oh, he's meat shielding in the chat right now, though, I'll tell you that. Is he meat shielding in the chat? Wow. Yep. There's Blizzard. There's actually lots of little animations like this in the game, which is, uh, interesting. Um... The Game Boy has, like, very limited RAM, um, like, video RAM at any time, so, uh, that's a big reason the cards don't move, um, at all. It's all, like, screen effects and stuff, so, yeah, they have to put all of it into actual, you know, effects like this. Um, in contrast, there is a Yu-Gi-Oh! card game on the Game Boy. And it doesn't have effects like this, but in turn, the cards actually move physically, so... You know, everyone had their own way of um, working around the limited VRAM of the Game Boy. Yeah. So speaking but of Yu-Gi-Oh, this... what, what came first? The Pokemon trade card game, or...? Uh, I'm almost certain the Pokemon one came first, because Wizards of the Coast uh, started that really early. Oh... Yeah. They had, like... They had card tournaments and stuff like way back um before Yu-Gi-Oh was like ever aired on TV. <laughs> Man, Yu-Gi-Oh is a, a fake. Yu-Gi-Oh is a fake, it's a poser. <laughs> Alright, so when we flip heads on that blizzard move, we actually do 10 damage to everything on his bench that's hiding. Um I did that enough times and it actually killed this diglet that was waiting. Dang. Um so we got a we got a residual kill, which is uh, good because it saves me an active kill that I have to do. So yeah, you can see he sends out a lot of stuff, but almost nothing can hit me. The the ten damage I took with that one black counter on Articuno, that was with one of his evolved Pokemon using like its strongest move, and that did ten damage. <laughs> Yeah. Another win! Another medal! Another win! Yeah, wow. we just got one left for the medal. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we only drew one Articuno. Sometimes you draw more than one and it makes uh, some of the later fights even easier, but... Perfect. Um, we only drew one. Uh, it's better than zero, because I've had runs where it's zero, and then you have to make up uh, the run the rest of the way. Oh no. Alright. And you really don't want to do that, yeah. But having this Articuno just really saves us. Okay, it's the same idea with Mitch. Here. Yeah. Mitch is the same idea. He, his guys hit stronger, but they take more turns to, uh, to power, so... By doing that, I can actually generally kill his guys before they even get a chance to attack, because he's too busy powering them. Generally. <laughs> Oh, I get, I get it. I stalled. I should use Andrews. He already put that in there earlier. <laughs> okay, so let's start using Blizzard. Here we go. Uh, if you're not sure yet, the the little circle, um, the little circle indicators is how much HP a Pokemon has. It's ten per counter. If it's black, it means it has been damaged, and you want to make them all black. So Articuno is full, it's 70 HP at 7 counters, and it's fully uh, fully ready to go because it's not damaged. Uh-huh. Uh, General chance the same. wants you to compare General Lee with Hitmon Lee. Oh. Well, I mean, funny thing, right? Because Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan are based on Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. <laughs> You just can't go in there with your fist flying. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a great noise that people spam in Rig's chat. <laughs> it's just Rig like stumbling over himself trying to say Bruce Lee. It's <laughs> a great noise. Well, it was it's a line a from a noise. Mario RPG. 
Is that actually where it's from? Yeah. I was reading it is that, as it was written. Yeah. Is that that um, Jinx boss fight? That little tiny it's dojo It's the dude? remaster or the remake. They, they took it out. They took it out? Yeah, they took it out. What? <laughs> it was, oh, it's only in the Super Nintendo version. Why would they do? Why would they take out something so good? <laughs> uh, I know. I'm sad. All right. Wow, Mitch didn't give us any problems either. I don't think, aside from like that first Amanda fight where we had to reset like two or three times, I don't think I'd reset again. <laughs> so... Wow, another win. Yeah, it's that's all three. the medals. All right. It's been we pretty got good. The fist. All right. The fighting medal. The fighting medal. We are done with the medals. All the clubs are defeated. So at this point, we just have to go to the dome and beat the last five trainers. The four grandmasters and then uh, Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that floor tile looks way better. I don't know. It was, it was awful. The one with all the E's that you were mentioning earlier? E's. <laughs> all right, Courtney's first. What were they the fire thinking? queen. All right. Courtney. This is the best music in the game. In my opinion. All right. You only get this in the Grandmaster fights and nowhere else. Crank it up, man. <laughs> oh, she's powering. Oh my gosh, she has two Moltres on the bench. Okay. Honestly, that's not terrible. Um, Moltres is strong, but it takes a lot of energy to build, so. You know, by the time she actually builds them, I can plow through them with Articuno. Yeah, we got the okay. big bird. Yeah, that's one spicy chicken. <laughs> yeah, so you can do 50 damage at one time here, and it takes four turns for Moltres to even build an attack, so... You know, we can kill it in two turns easy. It doesn't even come close to ever thinking of attacking. There we go. Okay. So Moltres one is down. She's got another one. She has like yeah. four or five of them in her deck. So we, we could see more of them, but oh, so great. far. <laughs> Hot birds. <laughs> it's pretty glorious. <laughs> you can also tell which cards are holo um, like the holographic cards because they have the little star dithering on the patterns like Articuno, which oh. is how they uh, show the holographic. Portion. Yeah, I think I saw that in the Snorlax. Yeah, the Snorlax is also holographic, so you can you can actually tell really easily. Holy cow, she's done? That was a really fast Courtney. Whoa! Let's go. All right, I'm liking it. All right. All right, it's Steve. This is Steve. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so Arco has been great. Guy. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine, but he's a uh, he's a uh, pain in my butt. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make our final deck edit. We're gonna go back to the Doug Trio deck and uh, pray we get the best RNG to finish the run out. But we are gonna save before every duel again, because um, this is where a lot of resets can happen and generally do. Steve looks pretty 90s. He's pretty nice. Okay, wow, that was amazingly <laughs> horrible luck. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> yeah, so his, well, his legendary is. His legendary card is Zapdos. When he plays it, the game picks a random Pokemon. It can be his or even mine. Um, and then it hits it for 30 damage. See, as you can see here, it hits something on his damage. bench this time. It's basically free, but um, you can't pick who it damages. So, unfortunately, the last time it hit me, my only Diglett, for full 30 and it killed my me. Only <laughs> it was so bad. That was not, uh, that was not a good result, but... At least it happened fast. Right? That's All right. right. <laughs> but they're gonna hurt your diglet, may it be fast and... Yeah. <laughs> Just end it quick. End it quick. Alright, so right now I'm begging for a Doug Trio because Diglett is not strong enough to attack Zapdos. Um... Oh, he's thinking! I'm, I'm not pulling it, so we're gonna have to wait and see. This move is gonna attack a random Pokemon for 70. And it's me! Great! Oh, Thank you! <laughs> that's messed up. This is what I mean. You usually have to reset a lot with um, with these Grandmasters, so... Yeah. 
Unfortunately, that's how it is. A lot of their cards are like just RNG and um, they don't really actually exist uh, in the real game, like the real card game the same way because, you know, there's no computer in the real game making decisions like this at random. Mm -hmm. So they, they tweak the cards and they're like, okay, we're going to make it like kind of random. You know, you can flip a coin and decide or something. Yeah. But yeah, but they don't, uh, they usually don't. You need some challenge. Exactly. I like the Voltorb card, it's pretty good. <laughs> he's got a good good eye. He's got yeah, he's got a good stare. Alright, so we got a spare diglet, which honestly I don't really want right now. If something gets ugly, I'm gonna put him on the bench, but um I really need the Doug Chu to show up and it's not showing up. Okay, so I used a couple cards called Energy Removal. They basically take a turn back where, um, you know, he, he can only attach one energy per turn, and then I just remove it. <laughs> so he wastes a turn. Okay, but he is still building. And unfortunately, without drawing Doug Trio, it could get a little ugly. Come on, Doug Trio. I accidentally put the energy on the wrong Diglett, but that's fine. He's gonna attack this. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, we have that resistance, so... Wow, I'm just not drawing... I'm not drawing this, uh... Doug Trio at all. Uh, the thing is, there's the only wall, three. It's yeah, it's Steve. It's always Steve. Oh my goodness. I even have some cards that, like... If successful, I could pull a Doug Trio. But uh, it's not showing up. I'm gonna get one more turn to try this, but um, if not, I'm gonna have to reset again. Wow. <laughs> Nothing. Let's see not if he plays. Good. Yeah. No, we're gonna have to reset it. <laughs> okay. Unfortunate. That's Steve for you. Come on, Steve! Yep. What are you doing? Come on, Steve! <laughs> it's general. Hey, you're, you're gonna bring good luck, man. All right, don't worry. We, we need luck. some teamwork here, so we're, we're gonna take Steve down a notch. All right, we got we got rig on the outside, we got crumble work on the inside, and I'll come over the top. <laughs> From the top rope, we're gonna bring down Duck Trio. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get him. Come on. Yeah, baby. That is good luck! Here we go! <laughs> Alright! Yay! <laughs> so we finally have a Doug Tree on the hand. Alright, what's he got on his bench? What's he what's he what's he building? What's he building over there? What's you building over there? Got a Zapdos and two Voltorb. Okay, so not what terrible, not bad. You got a little bit of cement, you got a little bit of wood, you gonna make something, huh? Make something of yourself? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Oh, he even attacked himself. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought you'd do. <laughs> well, <I'm out. laughs> All right. So now you can see we can actually fight Zapdos because we have an attack that does over 30. <laughs> All right. So wow. one Zapdos down. We got to take down a second one. All right. All right. Not your uh, good unfortunately... luck, Andrews. Well, actually... Did I pull a second Doug Trio? All right, Let's go, I'll build Doug that too. Trio. <laughs> That's Doug Nine, baby. <laughs> I like it. Uh, okay. Just in case he knocks me out, I'm gonna use Defender. I don't need him knocking out this Doug Trio. Okay, no, they're he focused. did not. All right, so his the scary guys are gone. All right, everything else that's left is going to take double damage with no absorption, so we should be able to plow through. Sunshine, you liking the thank music, you. Chat? <laughs> yeah, are you liking this music, Raiders? Look at this! It's getting crazy out here for charity! <laughs> Steve's bringing that oh, charity action. Look at this, look at this! He's just giving up a Volt Orb! Free. All right, Steve is done. <laughs> Sunshine, oh. you, you just helped out. Look at that. You took down Steve. 
Look at that. First got run him. general comes in for, and uh, we win. There you go. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. All right. It's time for gentlemanly Jack. <laughs> All right. No Doug Shoe yet. Fingers crossed. That's not a good start. <laughs> We, we shall see. So what does Jack have? Uh, Jack's mostly got uh, water Pokemon, but he's got an Articuno, which is a little scary. Oh. Because uh, it has that same resistance that we saw earlier. Right. Yeah, so uh, hopefully we don't see him. Honestly, most of the time we see him, so I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Oh, switch! Okay, great. I gotta reset. <laughs> You're uh, kinda at a disadvantage great. if you don't pull. Damn it, uh, you, gotta, get you gotta get Doug Trail early. You gotta get early. Lapras again? Oh. <laughs> the thing with Lapras is it attacks fast and it has a lot of um, HP, so. It's not a card you want to see early, unless you got Doug Trio at the start. But we're just not pulling it. There he is. <laughs> hey. Uh, I'm gonna evolve him now. It means I can't attack this turn, but it also means I'm not gonna die when he uses his attack. Good. That's right. Take okay, that, got... Jack. We did just get confused. No. Bring back Steve. <laughs> Bring back Steve. <laughs> Mostly I don't know what's worse, game. honestly. I think they're. I think it's all equally terrible. All right. So, uh, what's his bench? Another Lapras. Yuck. Okay. Um. All right. Let's roll with it. See what happens. God, Lapras after Lapras. <laughs> we did just draw a useful card. So I did get confused, but I did draw. Uh, something called Full Heal, which is going to get rid of that confusion. Uh, okay. I wish I had another Doug Trio, because this Doug Trio is almost dead. <laughs> yeah, they're chipping away at him. I'm, I'm hoping, uh... I'm hoping I draw something else. I forgot about the Seal Pokémon. Did you forget about him? I did. It's a pretty it's good seal. card. Does he have a a horn on his head? Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, that's not good. So what you do is you okay, shave um, that horn down just a little bit, turn into a little bit of dust, put it right at the top of your pancakes, and I'm telling you, you got a winning <laughs> breakfast right there. <laughs> Is that is that is that how you uh is that how you get into shape? <laughs> is that no, the secret? absolutely not. But you could do it. <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Dried seal horn powder. Yeah, oh. Yes. Why not? I don't know why he didn't place Articuno, which would have survived several turns longer. But we lucked out. He played his worst card. Because <laughs> he's a gentleman. That's why. Very nice of him. Very considerate. Okay, another quick save in case this battle goes south. Yes. Yeah. Alright, we got Rod. Rod. We have a Diglett. Again, no Doug Trio. So we'll see how it goes, but... It's scary. Diglett just does not have a lot of HP, so it's always scary fighting. You gotta pray for uh, something better. All right, let's see what he does. He's gonna go with Lapras. How many Lapras do you guys have? It's all Lapras. <laughs> it, everyone's got one, and unfortunately it's a really annoying card. It's really good. All right, well, let's see what he does. And let's see what I draw. I, I pray we draw a Doug Trio again, but again, it's not looking good. It's honestly not looking good. Nope, it's not good. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, so it's unfortunate. Usually what happens most of the time is you pull four Dugtrio 
um, from the booster packs that you win. And you give yourself four chances to draw him, but we only drew three. So it's really coming to bite me because I'm losing that one extra chance to actually, you know, pull that winning card. <laughs> and the big thing is your deck is 60 cards, so we only have three of them in the entire deck. You really prefer to have all four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you really but, don't have like, uh, what, like a 5% chance of pulling it? It's pretty rare, unfortunately, yeah. Um, we do stick some trainer cards in there and give ourselves a better chance. There's um, the Pokeball. If you flip heads, you can just go into your deck and pull the Doug Trio for free. Hey, that's familiar. Hey. We got ourselves a Doug Trio. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we like seeing them. All right, so uh, I believe I do have a potion too. Again, this is our only card now, so I want to keep him as fresh as possible because I don't want to get surprise attacked by something. There's the fish. Oh, the magic card. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. If that thing evolves, though, it becomes insanely scary, so we kill it before it ever does that. <laughs> okay, so that's the purpose of it, got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a garbage card until it evolves, and then it becomes one of the strongest cards. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Kangaskhan is down, we just need one more kill, and it's a magic card. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna overkill it, just for fun. There Good. we go, we gave it an earthquake. <laughs> All right. Wow, another win. Another win. That's and we fourth? just got That's the fourth and we just got final Ronald who we actually do have to beat. We're making good time. Yeah. What are we at actually? Uh tell me 1 hour and 4 minutes and 45 seconds about. We are ahead of pace still, which is incredible. He's always going to play Moltres. Oh, Zapdos! Wow, that is so rare! I died to uh, uh, something I haven't seen in any of my practice runs. Incredible. That's Ronald for you. Yeah, good old Ronald. The ultimate clown. <laughs> you just got clowned! <laughs> I, I could not pull this Doug Trio to save my life. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Did very entertaining. Thank you for being here. I don't know. <laughs> oh god, that's a little scary. <laughs> clown uh, warning. Look away if you have clown epilepsy. Clown epilepsy? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Someone clip that for sure. <laughs> I need that for a sound. <laughs> <laughs> what is clown epilepsy? I don't know. I just read his uh <laughs> light sensitivity. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Do not play anything. Oh he played Kangaskhan! Why no. is he delaying this? <laughs> I haven't even drawn a duck trail. Okay, another turn, one more turn. Oh my god, duck trail! Never mind! Okay. Uh, okay. I need to reset real quick. I, I'm not. I'm not doing the fight over. I just picked the wrong move. But that should do it. Okay. So just a heads up. We don't split here. Um, once we, I will call time in a little bit here. We're gonna collect the legendary cards as our prize, and then we're gonna split uh, when the screen fades to white. So I will. I will give you a little warning here. Wow. We have to listen to the fanfare for every card. Thank you. Oh, that's amazing. Do you like my Very mashing good. sound trying to get to the end? Oh, good. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> All right, it's coming up here. So once the screen fades to white, I will say time here. That picture is terrible. Uh, that's right. Time. <laughs> All right. Well. What do we get? What do we get? It should uh, be like a one hour. 107. 13 because I you know I tried to split it as soon as you said time but so so that is almost that is almost 40 minutes ahead of estimate and that is like a, a an almost eight minute PB um, wow! oh. 
107 might put me in like, I want to say like the top 25 from like the top 60 that I was in. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can we get some GGs, folks? Like, that's what? incredible. What an that's anchor really run <laughs> that's nice. finish to the dream races. Woo. <laughs> I'm sweating. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> My goodness gracious, I shouldn't have been screaming so loud during that run. People are going to be like, no, what? I... Disqualified. <laughs> that guy in the back, he was loud. He was loud. <laughs> I can't hear the PB. <laughs> <laughs> I can't verify the sound. This guy's yelling about Steve. <laughs> That's oh great. my goodness. I'm so well, happy for you. Thank that you. That was really, uh, really appreciate, cool. Appreciate both of you uh, jumping in and uh, Jen bringing that final bit of luck because it was getting a little ugly until you came in and uh, flipped the <laughs> script. <laughs> yeah, he brought the Doug Trio out. Yeah, uh, he did. I, I just feel I like you, you two were going back and forth <laughs> and there was just a moment in time where it finally felt like it was starting to slow down a little bit. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm, fe I'm feeling ready here. Like, like tag me in, coach. You know, like, let's go. Ooh, that's, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and I was getting a lot of those General Lee comments out there in chat and my brain was like, you know what? Yeah, it's time to come in there just to swing him. You know, we're going to do it for Super Mario RPG. We're going to we're going to do this thing. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. <laughs> uh, hoping that would yeah. <laughs> well, oh. thanks everyone. Uh, that should close it out for us. Uh, again, thanks to Rig. Please check out Rig. Great yeah, stream. Yeah, thanks for bringing me on. <laughs> yeah, great event. Love it, love it. Yeah, awesome event. Thanks again for letting us participate. And uh, awesome. We might, I might be back for May, you know, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm, that, that's the hope right now, folks, is that we're going to see some more Chromogram action um, in our May event, and it might bring somebody else back out Ooh. of the Dream Race retirement and uh, back into the oh. gridiron. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll talk about it soon. We'll be? talk about it soon, <laughs> you know. Keep, it, keep tuning yeah. in, you'll find out more. But for now, though, folks, make sure to check out both Retro Island Gaming and Chromogram on the respective channels because they do some really fun and entertaining stuff. If yeah, you enjoy their you. commentary, Just in general. thank you. Thank if you, you enjoy their commentary and their energy tonight, I am sure you will enjoy them on their streams in their own um, respective little uh, uh, corners of Twitch. So, with that being said, thank you so much, you two. I'm going to relieve you of your duty, and we will catch right. you on the flip thank side. You. Take care. Bye bye.